Hi, this is Pat Wright with LegalizeParents.org, and this is Dean Nope. In 2015, um, we did a poster. It's supposed to be 10 reasons why ferrets should be legalized. It came up to 11. And I wanted to start doing a YouTube series or video series on each reason. Um, or actually, our, our video content has uh, done pretty well. But before we say why ferrets should be legal, I want to discuss is should you have a ferret? And I think for the overwhelming uh, number of people, the answer is no. Um, ferrets are not as easy as um, dogs or cats. Cats are just the easiest as all. In fact, here are my kitties doing absolutely nothing. Uh, there are dogs around. Dogs are the most, sorry, wonderful things around. Um, there's nothing more trustworthy than a dog, right? If my dog Roo. Um, but as for ferrets, um, considerable amount of work. Well, first of all, where did they come from? Um, the domestication of ferrets is, is not as clear as the domestication of dogs or the domestication of cats, which are not fully domestic. Um, is also a long story, but ferrets were used for hunting uh, rodents, vermin, I don't like the word vermin, um, and people gradually tamed them. Uh, in the United States, they were used in the laboratories. In fact, uh, the largest ferret breeders, 70% of their ferrets go into laboratories, which is, you know, heartbreaking and controversial. And, but uh, anyway, they found a secondary market in the pet trade. Uh, the Beastmaster movie came out in 1980-something uh, and really uh, put ferrets in the spotlight. And for, for some people, uh, ferrets are just like you. You're just a perfect ferret. Ferrets are, are, are really good companions. Um, people attracted to ferrets are a very, have their own particular personality traits and generally see a lot of um, depression, sometimes quite severe. Just looking at my Facebook page today, from friends I know in the ferret club, you see a lot of really dark, people in very dark places attracted to ferrets. Um, so they can bring you out, but they can also put you down. Uh, like I've got a sick ferret that, uh, worries me a great deal every morning. I'm just like, is he still here? And, and uh, let's see, is that him? Surprisingly, Merlin. Merlin, say hello. I'm still here. God knows how, but I'm not ready to go yet. Um, anyway, ferrets can cause you a lot of grief and a lot of worry. Um, they're also um, messy, uh, expensive. Veterinary care can be uh, tricky. I hope you have a good vet. And these days, veterinary care is being uh, run by corporations, Banfield, Fetco, or Petco, and they don't do ferrets. And someone's playing with my tripod. Um, so, yes, we believe that ferrets should be legal. I'm going to give you 11 reasons in the months ahead, but um, consider very carefully if you're the right kind of a person for a ferret and giving it. A lot of thought I would say the number one qualification if you're a person who makes sacrifices uh, for your pets if they come first uh, in front of other things if you don't buy the cheapest pet food um, if you're not annoyed at uh, antics that would um, frustrate the average person if you think um, missing items that where'd the ferret put it now is funny and not aggravating then yes maybe a ferret is the right pet for you. They bring you a lot of joy. Um, but ferret owners are a very special group of people and think very carefully if you want to join this club and if you do want to join this club, join us at legalizedferrets.org or there are other uh, ferret clubs, West Coast Ferrets, we like them. Um, get involved and let's uh, keep our ferrets safe and let's make them legal. More news to follow. Thank you.